Nightingale by Yanni. This is a CBT guitar lesson for George. Or George, he said to call you Geo, so we'll call you Geo. You gave me the liberty to take this uh, genius, Yanni, all this orchestration, and uh, take the melodies and, and stuff and construct it to guitar. So I went for a classical approach to this. And I took some of the intro that comes in at seven seconds in. I don't know if that's like a piccolo flute, but it's got that breathy vibrato. I didn't play that in the intro here, um, but it's going to be this. It comes in at seven seconds in, and it's standard tuning, 2G hammer to 4 vibrato. And just use your fingers, you know, your index or middle, and we'll go. It'll go. We'll go 3B, 2 high E. I'd use third and first finger. Take your index and middle, put them underneath the B and E string. Pluck them three times, slide it to 5B and 3E. It's a little tricky because we've got to skip a fret, right? Vibrato if you can. And then um, 5B slide to 7, vibrato. So, oops. And then 3B, hammer 5, pull 3, vibrato. So it's 19 seconds in, 2G, we're going to do a double hammer on to the 3rd and 4th fret, vibrato, and then 3B, and then 3B, 4G, from there we're going to go, so let's go from the 19 second timestamp. Okay, so from the 3-4, we're going to go to 7-G and B, bar it with your index, pluck those, and then 9-G, 8-B, third and middle finger, try to keep a vibrato on that, so we have, then end it with 7-B, pull off to 5, hammer to 7, 7-G, hammer 9, pull 7, vibrato, so it's, And rather than play all of that, because the song really doesn't kick in there, but I wanted to give a taste of that before the song really kicks in, which is what I played on the intro. Section 1A, 59 seconds in. It's E minor, D with an F sharp bass, and G major. It's kind of the outline. So our pickup line uh, melody, pickup note, open three on the B. And then the chords kick in. 2D index, and we're going to use our thumb over here to pluck that and the middle finger on the high E, pinch them together, and then go G, B, G. So we have... And then the best way I think to do this chord, and I did put the fingering in your tabs, is bar the second fret, basically the last three strings or four strings, and we're going to go... Um, Third, third fret on the B string with the middle finger um, and fourth fret on the D string with the third finger. We're going to pluck the D and E again, just like the E minor chord. It's played, everything's the same there. So we have up to a G major, 5D, 4G, 3B. And we're going to play these separately, D, G, and B. I'm going to go thumb, index, middle kind of a string per, or a fin set finger for each string. D, G, B, G. And they're, they're holds as well, so you don't want to go, you know, let them ring. That's what the darkened, shaded area in your tabs are telling you, is they're a hold. And then go D and B string. And then 4D, 2G, it's like a little walk down, so we'll be going, and then start it over, you'll see double dots. And then section 1B, a minute 9 in, it's kind of the same thing, you just don't have the in it, so it's back to the E minor, D with the F bass, the G, go D, G, B, G, twice. So that'll sound like this.
7D, 5G, 5B. I'm gonna go third finger, barred first fret, or barred fifth fret with the index. Go D, G, B, G. And then go 7D, open B. And then 5D, open B. So. So I tried to grab some of the flute parts, the, the melody, you know, the passing tones in there, with the, the uh, piano part, um, which is a, really the foundation of what I've got going. That'll take us to a D major. Some of these chord forms you may not be familiar with. This is a, what I call the, the C major version of a D chord. And follow the fingering in your tabs. 5A, 4D, 2G, and bar that all the way down, and then 3B with the middle there, and we're going to go straight down from the A to the high E, and then B, G, B. Use whatever fingerings you want here. You can take your thumb for most of it. So you have a, uh, that's the end of that section 1B. So and then you're going to go back to section 1A, a minute 17 in your tabs, and you repeat it all, two times of that and then one time of section 1B. So you'll be going right back to... all that. Section 2 comes in at a minute and 34 in the song. Really nice part here. Um, you go, <clears throat> this is basically a C major, 8E, 7A, 5D. And we're going to go E, A, D, A. I'm going to go thumb index, middle index. And then just go 7E, 5A, and 4D. And that's basically going to be our uh, B minor. So, basically an E minor, um, put your fourth finger on the fourth fret on the D string and your index on the second fret on the A string and you're going to be set up for all this. It'll be a... E, G, D, G, B, G, D, A. And then just a different spot of playing the C chord, which is 3A, 2D, open G. It's like this. Put over here. A, D, G, D. 5A, 4D, and 2G. This is our D major. Play the same, same strings. So... Try to get some of the, the tonality, the melodies coming off the other instruments. This is basically a G major. You'll go 3E, and it's a hold. You'll go E, D, G, D. 3B, third finger. So, 2G, pull off to open, and then 4D. So, That's coming off the D, right? So. Top of page three, A minor, go uh, 2D and 1B. And we're going to pluck the, or we're going to pick the A, D, E, B. Okay, so it's. And then 2A, open D and G, and then open D. So that's a hold as well, G with the B bass. 3A, 2D, open G, and then the 2D, it's our C chord. As that's bringing, bringing out, go pinky, third fret on the B string, 
pull off to the first fret and then open G 2 D so keep all the fingers down till you have to put one you know what I mean the pinky will come in midway through or you can have it waiting so we have Then the D, 5A, 4D, 2G, 3B, 2 on the high E, and 3B. Sounds like this. Grab some of the passing tones. 5, 3, 2 on the A. So. Then that'll take us to the root note of a B minor chord. Just bar everything on the second fret from the A string down. 4D, 4G, and 3B. We're going to go the A string all the way down to the high E, just like we did on the D chord. So you have... And then we're going to go... Oops. 4, 2, D, and G. We're going to pluck those. 2, D, open G. And then 5, 4, A, and D. So... Then repeats at 151 time stamp. And you'll see it'll go section 1A, play it the same way, section 1B the same way, finishing at 2 minutes 8 seconds with 5A, 4D, and 2G. Not a biggie, but it rings out longer, that's why I had to notate that. The next new part is section 3, 3 minutes and 41 seconds in, and we're gonna get some higher tonality here. Similar recordings and stuff, but uh, check it out, we got. We're going to play 9D, 7G, third and first finger, and then 7G, but swap out to the third finger, slide to 9. Once you get there, let it ring as you play 8B, 7E, 8B. So it's... Lower your thumb for this chord, it's a huge stretch. 11 G, 10 B, and 7 high E, same strings, G, B, E, B. So in reality you're going like this. From there, we're going to go to this E minor, four, 14 D, and barred 12th fret um, on, the, on the G, B, and E string. And you're going to go like this. D, G, I do those both with my thumb. And then I pluck the B and E together, so so it's and you'll hear the like a flute or something go or a twelve slide to fifteen on the B twice, so following it and then right back to this E minor arpeggio nine eight seven um, G B E B. So those first two repeat. And then this time we're going to go 14D, 12G, and 15B. Go uh, thumb, index, middle, D, G, and B. So that one's this. Do that again. There it is. Okay, and then um, 12th fret, G, and B. And then 11 G 10 B. Or you can use your index here, or third finger. Because we're going. It makes more sense to use the index. And then, double dots, you go back to the uh, prior set where the, where the double dots are and start it over. And it's exactly the same, so it's... And as well as this. And then A minor, 7D, 5G, just bar the 5th fret all the way down. And we're going to go D, G, E, B. Okay, so that's all a hold. And then 8E, slide to 10. Um, oops, 
So it's, let's see where we were at here. I was in the wrong spot, wasn't I? Seven, seven on the D string, fifth fret, barred. Um, eight E, slide to ten. Make sure you hear the note, don't just go, it's. And then seven E, eight B, that's a hold. Or uh, let it ring together. So it's. It's actually fun to play that.